Yeah, it's a brand new video, PTG. Yeah. And if you're wondering when am I going to announce the PS Vita giveaway, well, I'm not going to announce it until June 16. It's a Saturday. Why? It's because there's way too many people joining it. And uh, I can get more people to join it because anyone can join around the world. Anybody can join. And um, so, yeah, I'm not going to announce the winner this month, but I will announce it on June 16 on Saturday. It's a Saturday and stay tuned and just keep on watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and uh, congratulations to Big Papa 9142 and Amory Cassidy. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it right now. And um, all right, so that's pretty much it. Um, let's get moving on. And I'm just going to show you how to put a PSP game on the PS Vita. Yeah. You can see right there, it's May 7, Monday, 12, 19. Assume me, it's my front cover. So right there, i show you. Well, I downloaded um, a bunch of stuff from the PSN store, like Netflix, Music Unlimited, those stuff. And also, these are my games. Mortal Kombat, Ultimate, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Uncharted, Golden Abyss. And as you can see right here, I got Crash Tag Team Racing, Crazy Taxi Fair Wars, Dead or Alive Paradise, that's a PSP games, Gang uh, Driver 76, Gangs of London, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Little Big Planet, Mortal Kombat Unchained, Power Stone Collection, which is one and two. Um, as you can see right there, and this is the for the the free game I got since I got the 3G version. And um, it's a Super Stardust Delta and a bunch of demos. Yeah, who wouldn't download demos? It's free. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to put PSP games on the PS Vita. Since that, if you go to um, the PSN store right here, the only games you will see is the Driver 76 and the Little Big Planet. And the um, Power Stone Collection, and the Dead or, and also the Dead or Alive Paradise. See, as you can see right here, PSP games. And you see, if we go to E2H, which is has the G in it, Grand Theft Auto in it, as you can see, Grand Theft Auto is not in it. It's supposed to be between God of War and Half Minute Hero, but it's not in there. So. I'm just going to teach you how to put PSP games on the PS Vita. So let's get started. Now, we're going to take this out. See right there. Now, what you need is the charger. You see, this is the charger for the um, PS Vita. Well, you don't need the charger. All you need is the USB cord, which is this one right here. This one right here. Now, you won't be needing this because you won't be charging it. So, just put that away. And here it is. You need the USB for the PS Vita. Here it is. This always side up when you plug it in because um it won't, you know, connect if it's the other way. So, it's always this up wherever the uh, PlayStation logo is. See right there. So, you just plug it in. You just plug it in and you this is the USB and you have to turn on your PS3. If you don't have a PS3, well, you cannot put any PSP games on your PS Vita. All right, now it's powered on. Get the controller going. It's on. Now, here, you plug this thing in, the USB to the TV right there. And there you go. As you can see, it got connected. Yeah, connected to the PS3. Now you had to um, re unplug this because, um, okay, all right, there you go. Click on that media, and now when you turn on your PS3, it goes directly to this part right here connected to the PS Vita system. See so there, everything is done on the PS Vita. It's right here. Now you start it. Now, therefore, you won't be needing your PS3 controller anymore. 
Now as you can see right here, PS3 system, PS Vita system. Now that's what you need to do because it's uh, connected to the PS3. Well now you get to choose whatever you want. Applications is for the games, videos for the videos, music for the music, and photo is the pictures. Now let's go to application. Now you can see right here, you click applications, PSP, and other because that's the games right there. So you click the PSP and um, applications downloaded on the PS3 system. Therefore, there you have it. These are the games that I downloaded on my PS3. Now I can just transfer it on my PS Vita. As you can see, these are the same game that was on the front page of my PS Vita. So those are the games that I downloaded. So those are the games that's going to work. That's the games only. There are some games that does not work. Well, I'm going to show you what are those games right now. Well, let's go back. So that's basically how you do it. Basically, you just go to applications, PSP applications, and um, you just uh, if you want to select all, just select all. If you don't want to select all, just clear, just um, just cancel, just clear it. So yeah, just just cancel it if you don't want all of it. So you just take that out. So that's pretty much how you put it on your PS Vita. Right there, that's how my games. You can see I have more PSP games than the PS Vita games because PS Vita doesn't really have any good games at the moment, so that's why I use my PS Vita for my PSP games. And these are the games I downloaded on my PSP Go, but then it can download here, so I downloaded on my PS3, and there you have it. And those are games that works. Here's the game that does not work. As you can see right here, Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play cannot be transferred on your PS Vita. Mod Nation Racers for the PSP cannot be transferred on the PS Vita. So those two games are the games that cannot be transferred at the moment or maybe will never be transferred because Mod Nation's already been out on the PS Vita. And um, Midway has been bankrupt for almost four years now. And those are the games that does not work, just two games, but everything else works. And that's how you put PSP games on your PS Vita. Sadly, PS1 games cannot be transferred on the PS Vita. So therefore, if you got PS1 games, it can never be transferred on the PS Vita. So that's very disappointing also. And also, if you also downloaded a PS2 Classics on the PSN network, you cannot transfer it on the PS Vita even though the PS Vita is supposed to be as powerful as the PS3 well that's very sad for Sony and um, I hope they fix that right now alright so this is the PSP games this is where you get the PSP games you know PSP games A to Z you just you know you just go to you know click whatever games you down you want to download so you can see right there I downloaded um, Grand Theft Auto um, Vice City Stories and Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories that's where I downloaded it, it's twenty dollars I downloaded it here on the PS3 well I, yeah I re-downloaded it because I already got this games on the PSP Go and then I just re-downloaded it and then I put it in the PS3 and now it's on my PS3 and all you need is that's pretty much it all you need is the PS3 <laughs> You need a TV, of course, to see what you're doing. You need a controller to control it. And you need the USB for the PS Vita and a PS Vita system. And don't forget your memory card because each PSP game is at least one gig or less. So I got a 32 gig memory card and that's all I need. That's the biggest memory card they got right now. I hope they make a bigger one. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. You know, PS Vita, PS3, PSP. That's how we do it. Yeah. Subscribe, like, favorite, comment, do whatever the hell you want. It's all good. Everybody loves PTG. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. PTG Church.